G'day guys, Caleb from Abigail Travel in the garage. Today we're playing with the big troll again. We're going to fit the airbags to her. I just want to touch on the importance of why you need airbags. So airbags are for so much more than just towing, especially for an independent rear sprung four wheel drive. So what actually happens when you load your car up and the weight of the car comes down, the tires actually start to lean in. What will end up happening is you'll scrub the inside of your tires out and wear your tires out. So the idea of airbags is it gives you that option to keep the same ride height, which in turn keeps the same wheel alignment on these things. So if you load, constantly change the load in your four-wheel drive, like load it up and do big trips or tow things or just put a heap of gear in, that all changes your wheel alignment. But yeah, so in the long run, it's definitely going to save you money. It's one of the mods that you should definitely be looking at doing. All right, so it's bag time. Got an airbag being airbags put inside the coils. And we'll go through what's in the kit. We'll install it and then we'll talk a bit more about it. High pressure sleeves, basically bags go in the high pressure sleeves. High pressure sleeves allows you to take the bag up to 60 psi. Without the sleeves, they're good for 30 psi. This just increases the amount of load that you can put on the bag. The lower bag seat, so that'll go on the bottom of the arm. The bag will sit on top of that. And then we've got the upper bag seat. So um, airline goes through that. Then we've got all the airlines. And then bag full of fittings, instructions, all that stuff. So let's get into it and we'll get it done. Because I'm doing this on the garage floor, we're going to drop this spare tire out, get it out of the way to create some room. We'll jack the car up, take this wheel off, put it on stands. From there, we'll lower that lower arm all the way down to get the spring to fully extend, and then hopefully it should just be easy slotting the bag in. That's the prep work done. So. Car's on stand, tire under the car in case the stand fails. Unlikely, but just something I've always done. This big ass coil, <laughs> this is gonna be fun trying to squeeze a bag in this. Worst case, we drop the coil out, but I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. The idea is we'll get the lower seat in, we'll get the upper seat in, it'll sit up top here. All right, so with these Dobinson heavy duty coils, obviously um, the coil spacing is a little bit tighter, uh, then it is quite hard to get it in. So what I've done is I've actually flicked a strap over the top uh, remove the ABS line, put a strap over the bottom, and that's just to try and stretch this spacing out a bit to help us get these spring seats in. So we'll have a go at it. Hopefully with a little bit of luck it'll work. Pretty close. Yeah, so both the top and the bottom are about the same size. Oop, well that's the bottom. So I don't know if you can see that in there, but you can see how it's going to sit in the top nicely. And of course, these straps are under a bit of pressure, so just be mindful because obviously it's spring pressure. Got it. As easy as that, eh? That actually locates pretty well. Here's hoping that that was the hard part. You've got to get the sleeve on the bag. So, squeeze all the air out, as much air as you can. Now, when it gets to the rib in the bag, squeeze the air out, and then just persevere with it. This video is gonna be a lot of me grunting and groaning, and fighting airbags. There we go, that's it. Easy as that. Now we're just gonna hook the tubing up to the bag. Um, you wanna make sure this is cut as clean as possible. There is a specific cutter you can buy for it. You can just get a nice Stanley knife, but just make sure it's cut and clean because you'll never get to this connection again. So you want to make sure that it's the best seal that you can possibly get it. It's literally just a pushing connection. So just push her in, make sure it's firm, double check it. Yeah, we're good. Put the protective sleeving back on it, the tubing on it. Now, obviously, once you've got the bag plumbed, you want to work out what coil winding to go through. So preferably some one low. And then the idea is, is we'll just feed it through and manipulate it up in there. We're going to thread the tubing through first. So we get that up through the seats. And then, uh, yeah, we'll work out how you can get this bag in. Keep in mind, obviously, if you're going through the bottom winding, that's the where you need to put the tubing through. The 
as much air as you can get out of the bag will obviously make it a little bit easier too. And just be careful not to damage that airline going in. And try and keep the Kevo sleeve where it needs to go. Like I say, not hard at all. <laughs> and don't pull the airline as tempting as it will be. I must say, Benny, you made this look bloody easier than what it is. What a mission, but we got her in. Lift it back up. Put the wheel on. Just make sure the bag's seated where it needs to be. And we'll go from there. Moment of truth. I sprayed all that coil with silicon. The bag still seems to be okay. So we'll put a little bit of air in it. And then we'll just make sure it's right. All right, that's 60 pound in the bag. Seems okay. Now, keep in mind, my coils are rated for a bar, for a rear bar, which I'm still waiting on. So that's why they're at max extension already. Once the bar goes on though, should be good. Now I'm actually thinking I'm gonna run these without valves for a little bit, just to get them to settle in the coil. Um, I think if you pull the coil out, it'd be heaps easier to do everything. Now, once you're the bags mounted, airlines run, you've got to mount the valves somewhere. Now for me, I've just drilled two holes in the back bumper. Um, I'm gonna put my valves here. There's a couple of reasons why. Um, so the first reason is this is only temporary. So I've got a Razzler rear bar coming. So once the rear bar gets here, I'll actually think about how I'm gonna mount them and mount them a bit better. The other reason I put them here is my air compressor is on my passenger side. So lengthwise to get air to them, I can actually reach this side to get to the valves. All right. Both the airbags are in. I don't have that sleeve as neat as that one, but anyway, it'll still function. It still holds the bag. What I did with that uh, airline over there. I ran it on top of the chassis, then I ran it across this brace through here, and then I've just fed both lines down to the back bumper. I was just on the back of the bumper, just there. Instead of putting the silver valve removal caps on them, I just put some black caps, just so it blends in a bit better. That's only going to be a temporary thing, because um, then we'll remount them and work out how we're going to mount them from there. There we go. That's the airbag man airbags installed, ready to go. <sighs> what a mission, but got it done. So I ran the same high pressure kit in the Fortuna. Um, ran that for about three years, no issues, like, it's just good quality, it's a product you can trust. As far as I'm concerned, if you've got a Y62 Patrol, this is something you should be looking at doing. Um, and like I say, regardless of what you carry, it just gives you that ability to know that you can get that suspension right, you can get the back sitting right, and then you know it's not going to scrape your tyres out. But like I say, any independent rear suspension four-wheel drive, it's definitely a modification you should be looking at doing. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, so feel free to comment below. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe, and until next time, go travel.